So I wanted to wait a few days before making this video to hopefully get a full list of the new legendaries that arrived with the takedown at the Maluan's black site, as well as a few others that have returned. How is it going guys, my name is DPG and today I've been going over Borderlands 3 video. If you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, simply make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so I will state this list of legendaries, although I believe is now complete, I can't 100% confirm that as there may be others hiding somewhere. Also, this isn't a review of said weapon or item in question, just a guide for you guys to show you where you can get each of these new items. Also, these legendaries, although they may not be exclusive to set locations you can farm here, which I will cover, I can confirm each one I do cover has a dedicated place in said location and enemies loot pool. I do also believe all these legendaries I will cover today do drop in one place or another within a takedown at Maliwan's Raid also, either from the Valkyrie or Walton, but I can't confirm that yet. Another quick note, new legendaries outside of the Maliwan takedown, which I will cover today, as far as I know, only drop on Mayhem 4. So let's get into it guys. So the Juliet's Dazzle Assault Rifle, the weapon you can see on screen now. This is a weapon that's within the loot pool of Aurelia. Aurelia is located within Eden 6 on the Black Barrel Cellars area. Now like I said, this indeed could drop from another boss elsewhere, but I can confirm I know for a fact this does drop here. Yeah. Next up we have the good Juju Assault Rifle, my favourite so far. Actually now I think about it, maybe not. The good juju drops from the Rampager who is located on Promethea within the Forgotten Basilica. I was told this dropped for somebody at Graveward and that may be the case but I got this from the Rampager after I was told this was the spot so I 100% can confirm it drops from the Rampager. <laughs> Next up we have the Vosk's Death Grip. This shotgun is amazing and like most things I haven't covered it already, I will bring you guys a proper review of them. But this shotgun is within the loot pool of Troy Calypso who is located in the Great Vault on Pandora. I'll kill ya! Next up we have the Tankman Shield Sniper Rifle. This is a sniper rifle within the loot pool of Captain Tron who is found on Athenus. Next up we have, well, what I'm calling for short is the Execute Plus. This SMG is within the loot pool of General Trant who is upon Necro Tefio within the Desolation's Edge area. So next up we have a weapon which I do believe is the rarest of the bunch today and that is the Zaitsev's Eruption I believe that's pronounced. This is a weapon which I've seen two counts confirm this to drop from Mr. Titan within the Salorta Shaft who spawns in after a few rounds I believe. Next up we have the Creeping Death Shotgun. Now this is a shotgun I do believe was taken out of the game but I can't confirm that but has since returned. So I thought I'd cover it here. This is within the loot pool of the Mother of Dragons, upon Eden 6 within the Anvil area. Get off 
So next up are items at the moment known to only drop from the Maloran takedown raid and these are from Valkyrie. We have the Creator's EMP5 SMG, the Snowshoe Shield, the Recharger Burner Shield and the Red Card Recharger Shield. Okay, so moving on to Walton, and drops confirmed to him and nowhere else at the moment are the Kibsworth SMG, the Moonfire Pistol, the Tig's Boom Shotgun. Redistributor SMG The Improved Version 0.M Shield So those are confirmed at the moment to only drop from the Malawan Takedown Raid from Valkyrie and Walton So lastly guys we have class mods for each Vault Hunter starting with Amara Hers is called the Spiritual Driver and drops at the moment for three known places. Salisto, who is located within the Tanzania ruins, and Necrotafio. Also dropping from the Valkyrie and Walton. Then we have Flax class mod called the Flak Pack. This is also known to drop from three places. The Tink of the Cunning who's found within a mission the Trial of the Cunning. He's an optional Proving Grounds boss. The location of where this mission shows up if you haven't done it already can be seen on screen now within the Splinterlands area on Pandora. The Flak class mod also drops from Valkyrie and Walton. The Morris class mod, which is known as the Raging Bear, drops from Billy the Anointed within Jacob's Estate on Eden 6, and this also drops from the Valkyrie and Walton. Zane's class mod is called the Antifreeze. This drops from the Arbalast of Discipline, which is a side mission, the Trial of Discipline. The Arbalast of Discipline is an optional Proving Grounds boss. The mission location can be found via the spot on screen now on Promethea within the Remedian outskirts. This class mod also drops from the Valkyrie and Walton. And guys, that is it as far as we know on the new legendaries that dropped with this update. Now if anything changes, new legendaries are found, some of the current ones I've covered are confirmed dropping elsewhere, I may do an update video or edit the video description on this video so you guys know, but we will see. What I have stated today though, although these legendaries like I said may not be exclusive to said locations, I can confirm that they are in these guys loot pools, so you know where to look if there are any here you want to chase. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.